Hey, shoot. Hey guys, Ghost Grid Bandit here, and welcome back to another review. And finally, we're going to be taking a look at the DX Revice Driver from Common Rider Revice. Now, this is the 50th anniversary version, and surprisingly, this took a lot longer to achieve rather than the um, standard Revice Driver set um, that came out like came out right when the show did. Because right after the Megalodon Vice stamp, this came out before the show aired, and then we had the Amazon exclusive set that came with this and the Ohim Buster. And then after that, we had the standard release and then the um, Toys R Us exclusive pack. So yeah. So for the longest time, I've been waiting and now I finally do have this thing in my possession and it's awesome. <laughs> now, normally I would do a mega review like how I did with both uh, Saberins and Kaiju this time around, but since I've accumulated enough Vice stamps, I think I can make those into separate reviews. So I figured we might as well just talk about the primary uh, 50th anniversary set for this video. So for its contents, we have the big boy, the Revice driver, the Rex Vice stamp, and the exclusive uh, premium item, this being the Bata Vice stamp. As well as included, we do get these uh, blue Jigga driver straps which shockingly might be the Jigger Driver straps, but they're like a different material and have a different length to it because comparing them, you can see these have a little bit of a longer tab. So I think they're redoing how they're doing the uh, belt straps for this year. I mean, it's a minor nitpick, but nothing too crazy to write home about. Also, they're reusing the Sengoku Driver belt slack thing. And as you can tell from the thumbnail of this video, this thing does fit me. Uh, I fit all my belts. So without further ado, though, let's go ahead and head and talk about the gimmick. So as stated in my Megalodon overview video, I love the look of the Vice stamps. I think they're really, really good. They're pretty big, um, pretty big, but I was honestly expecting these things to be a few more inches taller than the average gimmick that we've been getting. But I've already made comparisons between that and the Wonder Ride books um, in that video, so I'll so I'll just cut to the chase directly with talking about how they look. So let's go ahead and bring in our main Vi stamp, this being the Rex stamp. As you can see, it's cast in a nice kind of dark purple, kind of like a lavenderish color, with a beautiful pink T Rex. And on the back side, we have the top of Re uh, Revy's head there with the antennae and, of course, the overall sculpt of the head. I do love the look of the vice stamps as well from the front because we do got their animal and, of course, the clear plastic there. And it's also got this dual injected plastic with the blue and the white. And every single one of these things is different, so you're not going to get, like, a duplicate of these if you have a second vice stamp of Rex. On the bottom here, we have the magnet here. And these things are magnetic, so for example, here's a steelbook. There you go. I was trying to find a thing that can attach to it in the last video, but I couldn't. But yeah, we also do get that dual molded injected plastic at the stamp as well. And of course, when you hit the button, you get your sounds. So for the first press, you get with a giant with a bright purple LED. Stamping. That's basically it. Now moving on to the Bata Vice Stamp or the Grasshopper. It's surprisingly a really nice Vice Stamp because um, in the pictures and the preliminary images, um, it looks fine. But actually seeing this thing in person, it's really, really good. Because um, while the uh, standard Vice Stamps have the blue injected into the white plastic, giving off that pearlescent like finish. Uh, I think with only this Vice Stamp and I think with the Showa Riders, you get this sort of uh, gray, kind of borderline black injected into the plastic, which is really nice. This actually does give off the feeling that this thing is a older hero representative of a Vice Stamp, which is nice in of itself. And um, for the promotional material, we actually do see this Vice Stamp um, on the Vice Stamp Hondar, and we do see this in the Saber Special episode, hyping up Saber, I mean, uh, Revice. And of course, um, since this is a grasshopper, it's relatively based on Ichigo because you can see the top of Ichigo's head with the antennae and the giant eyes right there. 
And of course, we do have the silver uh, grasshopper depicted there. And uh, this might uh, just be my personal opinion, but I can kind of see the muffler design right here. And this is the overall, just the head for the rider helmet. But yeah, just overall a really nice looking body stamp and quite the addition uh, for a premium set. Because um, when it comes to most of these premium sets, it's normally another item from the toy line that you can just buy separately. But they decided to shove it into one pack because it's probably going to be a lot less expensive to do that. But um, for this time around, we actually do get an exclusive buy stamp, which makes this set all more reason to get it, which is a smart move by Bandai's part, in my opinion. But enough rambling, though. Uh, the plastic does move on to the bottom with the stamp feature. And of course, we do get the grasshopper stamp right there. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the sounds. So hitting the button, we get a nice bright green light. The color doesn't show too well on my camera, unfortunately, because I have the lights on, but you get the point. Stamping. And there you go. Now let's talk about the Revice Driver. So here we have the Revice Driver, a very unusual and yet somehow it works driver because let me tell you, when I first saw this thing, I had my doubts. I'm not gonna lie, but surprisingly, this thing works as a driver because it's unique in the sense of things. I mean, when I first looked at it, it was like this, and I'm like, how is this supposed to work with the gimmick? And then further picture showed that it looked like this, and this section was supposed to be compatible with this section. And I saw it from this angle, and I'm like, oh, so it's a situation where uh, the gimmick does more for the driver rather than the driver doing it more for the gimmick, which is something we haven't gotten in, like, a long time. But, um, yeah, getting a closer look, though, at it, as you can see, it's in a very nice trans-purple uh, plastic now, normally I have problems with transparent plastic because like with the Sengoku driver, when I used to have that, it attracted fingerprints like crazy. And surprisingly, I don't have a problem with uh, this with uh, this being on here because it honestly works. And for the light-up gimmick, it does wonders. Uh, so um, yeah, here's the Revice driver though. Uh, as you can see, giant 50 on there because this is the 50th anniversary. Uh, well, technically the 51st because Sabres celebrated the 50th anniversary. But regardless, though, I do love the look of the driver. It's got a very nice sort of sheen to it because it definitely looks shiny and new. And of course, we also do have this little pink stripe going up the side here, which actually is a, is a sticker because there's this little matted section here. And then the rest is smoothed out. So we got this little matted section going up to the top here and these little blue notches here to add a little bit more to the color scheme. Unfortunately, though, the purple isn't uh, speckled or anything like that, but which could have been a plus, but it's not, unfortunately. Uh, getting a close look, though, at the top of the driver, as you can see, we got these little arrows indicating that you are supposed to flip this outwards. And we have this little TV section here, which is essentially a giant LCD screen, which you can use with a magic marker. Um, for comparison, though, with uh, this screen, here is the Digivice X model, roughly the same size as the actual stamping pad there. And this little thing is just attached to the driver. It can't be taken off, but the front disc plate can be because there's this little release button right here, which can be removed. And I have a feeling um, at some point in the future, this thing can be removed and we're gonna get driver add-ons like we did with the Zero One driver. And of course, um, as it stands by itself, it surprisingly stands up by itself because he's got these little notches here, which keeps it on balance. I mean, sure it wobbles, but it's not going to like tip over in the sense of things so for a quick comparison here it is next to last year's driver the Seiken sword driver as you can see it's definitely taller than the sword driver but the sword driver is longer than that and i don't have the zero one driver because honestly i didn't collect anything from zero one but here it is next to the uh other driver that I do have, this being the Jika driver, and surprisingly, it's actually smaller than the Jika driver, which is shocking in of itself. But now that we got the uh, size comparisons out of the way, let's get into the actual functionalities of the driver by itself. Like I've stated before, we've got this section here, which can 
turn this thing uh, 180 degrees. And it does have a habit of getting stuck because sometimes it will do, it will get stuck mid transformation and it will get stuck like that and it sort of screws with it. But you can put it back into the proper position later. On the back here, we got your molded detailings here, the belt, uh, little holes here for the straps. And we do got our on off switch. And of course, we do have the battery compartment, which is actually two AAAs this time rather than three, which is the standard. So essentially, uh, this thing takes electronics, but it doesn't make sounds in the actual driver, which is interesting to say the least. So um, essentially, this thing only handles the light up features while the actual vice stamps hold all the sounds the driver will make. So when we turn it on, you get, this, you get the uh, TV, the little pool section here that just lights up with this little pulse of a normal white light through the plastic. And that's how you do it. Now we got all of that out of the way. Now let's go ahead and get into the main transformation. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna hit the button. And then you're going to stamp onto it. And apparently from what I've read, the reason why Iki actually blows on the actual vice stamps is because that way the image actually appears more clear on the actual um, stamp section. So for accuracy's sake, When you stamp it on, this section lights up as this thing goes into its transformation mode. Slot it in, like so. And then you just twist to activate. Mission. And now you officially transformed into Common Rider Revice Rex Genome. And honestly, the way that this thing looks complete blows my mind because not only do we get this bad boy plastered on the front, but you also get this little image of the actual T-Rex from the stamping. And honestly, that in of itself is amazing because I don't think any gimmick really does this because since this thing is an electronic, it actually stays on there for quite a long time until it actually um, erases from the inside, which is nice in itself. So for once we have a driver that actually keeps its images nice and crisp. And the best part is, is that there's actually a sensor in here when the driver's turned on when the stamp's inside, that knows that it's in transformation mode. So now we don't have a track system or any like electronic chip that will break over time if you wanted to display this thing by itself. And when the driver's turned off, um, when you do the stamping gimmick, it actually doesn't work unless the driver is on. So that's also a plus in of itself. But yeah, general opinions aside on how the thing works, I do love the look the way this thing looks. It definitely looks really, really good um, just as a standalone visual piece like that. Unfortunately, it does get a little bit top heavy and unfortunately I got nothing to accommodate that. But it, this is a really nice looking driver. Um, when the whole thing does the shebang. Okay, now that we got all of that out of the way, let's get into our final attacks. So what you're going to do is you're going to twist it to put the thing back into its standard position. You're going to get the standby music. And when you're ready, twist again. Now, as you notice, this thing actually erases the stamping image because there's actually a magnet pad inside that actually twists with the driver. So that way, when you twist it outwards to the transformation, it stays on. But when you uh, twist it again, it actually erases it because inside there actually is a magnet pad that works in conjunction with it. And uh, there's actually a little uh, switch uh, right at the bottom here that actually does the whole shebang. We'll take a closer look at that later. Now we do have one more functionality uh, with the revise driver, this being the remix. Now what you're going to do is you're gonna put it back into the primary position and it's gonna start our final attack again. And this time you're gonna to wanna to hit the button at the top, like so. Really just again.
and that's a bit of a flaw that I have with it is that it cuts out the animation, um, the remix tune a little bit. But when you uh, hit the button when it's in its final attack formation, you get uh, the um, remix, uh, the remix uh, configuration, which I'm not going to comment on that because I'm not going to do that because <laughs> I don't want to. But yeah, now you've officially transformed into the Rex Genome uh, Remix. Now, uh, the final attack sounds stay the same, so I'm not going to do that. But, however, though, uh, for the sake of simplicity's sake, we do need to remove it, so... And there you go. And that's all the functionality that you do get with the Rex Vice Stamp. So now let's bring in the Bata Vice Stamp and to check out everything that comes included with that. Nice, beautiful green light for the Bata form. And now you've transformed into Revice Bata form, which is this version of the driver's exclusive form. Uh, I don't think it will be in Gone Rising, and I honestly don't think that this thing will be in the show, unless I'm being proven wrong again in the near future. So we'll see what happens there. But as you can see, I do love the way that the stamp sort of has the same image on the actual uh, toy itself reflected. So basically, it basically just looks like two Bata's looking at each other like that and I do love the way that it does uh the I do love the way when it gets the main jingle out of the way that it actually does a brief description um describing it as well as the animal at the same time so it basically is here comes the hopper transform which is a reference to the um, intro theme as well as the animal itself which is really nice so yeah now that we got all that out of the way let's go ahead and get into our um, remix and final attacks One thing I did also forget to mention is that when you're doing the final attacks, uh, the glowing light that's in the uh, main portion here actually glows into the vice stamp itself with different colors. So that's also a neat little trick there. I would like to hear a little bit more with the, with the uh, remix jingles. Unfortunately, that's something I'm never going to be able to see, but other way, either way, it's nice that you do get um, a version of the remix with uh, all the Vice stamps, even if um, they're not going to be in the show, so that's nice in of itself. Like I've said throughout the video, the Revice driver is definitely unique and a lot different from the drivers we've had before. As far as my opinions on the show goes, um, the show is definitely... It's definitely doing something a little bit different than most I mean, anniversary seasons. It's definitely a lot more dramatic than what we've gotten beforehand. But, I mean, the last two seasons we've had had a lot of drama elements into it. But this time around, it's just it feels a little bit different from what I'm used to when it comes to watching Toku. But getting back on track, though, I do love the Revice Driver. I think it's very unique, and it's one of those gimmicks where you have to buy uh, more items to get more compatibility with it. Um, same thing with the Sword Driver. But that's just my personal opinion, and this is something I can get behind. Just collectible stamps, your favorite riders, there's no real reason to be a completionist about it. Unless you're one of those guys like me that wanted almost everything from the Saber toy line. But with all that being said though, I do have a, I do have the Megalodon Vice stamp, the Eagle Vice stamp, and the Patera Vice stamp as well. So that's going to be the next few reviews, because now I officially have this thing in my possessions. So that's nice in of itself. But with all that being said, though, guys, thank you so much for watching uh, this week's video. And what are your overall opinions of the Revised Driver? Do you love it? Do you hate it? Do you love the show or hate the show? Let me know with a comment below. And next week, we're going to be taking a look at the DX Eagle Vi Stamp and Vi Stamp holders. And with all that being said, this is Gusgur Damani, signing out. Peace.